Okay, I'm getting bored now, so we're gonna play a little game. I spy. Okay. I spy with my little eye. Uh something that is brown. It's a, it's a tree. Okay, new one, new one, new one. I spy with my little eye something that is tall. It's a it's also a tree. Yeah, there isn't much to view out here. As a skating in, shot, watch for a rerun, shoot, and it's in! Niagara with 16.8! What's up guys, Moose here, back again with another video. This is episode three of Day in the Life of a College Hockey Player. I am currently on my way home to Ottawa from Rochester. I was here visiting my girl and her family for Thanksgiving. They were so kind enough to let me stay, give me a great meal, even though I'm Canadian and it's American Thanksgiving. But now I'm going home and my parents have no idea I'm gonna surprise them, so stick around for that reaction. Peace, enjoy the video. Holy shit. I slammed on the brakes as soon as I saw him. That was close. Yeesh. Oh, that would have been bad. Wow. So lucky. We keep going, baby. Let's go. Yeesh. First and probably only stop of the trip. Stop the Dunkin' Donuts, you know, I wish it was a Timmy's. But it, this'll do, I needed a, I needed something to keep me going. I was falling asleep at the wheel. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in there and get a coffee. Be right back. Mm. I love you so much, baby. I know, I missed you too. Oh, it's been so long. Mm. Oh. I mean, mm, I love black iced coffee, not in a weird way, I swear. Got the coffee, back on the road, baby. on the other side we did it we are across the border back in the homeland I'm surprised it didn't just start snowing instantly 
or they had like now I gotta drop off the car and uh, pick up my dog sled so I could go back to my igloo. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, for any of you guys who are wondering what it's like crossing the border, like with with COVID and stuff as a student, uh, I'm able to cross the border back home to Canada, no problem, because I'm a Canadian citizen. Uh, I do have to quarantine for two weeks because I've been in the state, so I'm just gonna do that at home. Uh, basically, they'll give you a couple of calls throughout the, the two weeks, and then that's it. And uh, for going back to the States, I'm able to go back because I am a student in the States, and I have my F1 visa, which is my student visa. And basically, because I'm a student, uh, it's considered essential travel, so they do let me go back across. And I will be going back uh, after Christmas, late December, early January, not too sure of the day yet. I do want to be back for New Year's, though spend that with my girlfriend you know get that new year's kiss but uh anyway yeah back in canada now let's continue this road trip got about an hour and a half to go baby let's go Yay! ottawa baby getting close But uh, yeah, here we go, baby. We're on my street. Here we go. I hope they're home. It'll kind of defeat the whole purpose of surprising them. If they're not, and then my car is just in the driveway when they come home and they see it. But right here is my humble abode. Pulling in. Let's go surprise them. Ringing the doorbell. Don't know if it worked. The doorbell's kind of. There we go. Where they at? <laughs> what the fuck? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to surprise you guys. <laughs> you certainly did. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so I made it home. Safe to say my parents were pretty surprised. They had no idea I was coming. We've just been chilling since I got here. Got a quarantine now, so that sucks. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. The little road trip from Rochester all the way back to Ottawa, which is where I'm from. Stittsville in particular. That's the town I am from. Uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Moose, and I'll see you guys next time. Yay!